Hey everybody, it's Renee with Pulse Automation and Security. I'm here at a recent job I completed. Uh, we put up a Samsung 55-inch uh, QLED, and the customer is absolutely in love with their TV. But one of the drawbacks of these new thin TVs is the manufacturers have really had to sacrifice the quality of the speakers. So the sound isn't uh, honestly that great. And so this customer, like a lot of my customers, decided to add a sound bar. And so that's what we're gonna do today. All right, so we're gonna add a Sonos Beam soundbar to this television. And I frequently use Sonos and a lot of other different brands, but I'll tell you the reason why I picked Sonos for this uh, particular installation. First of all, this is a condo. It's only a one bedroom condo, it's pretty small. This is going to be their main source of music in this unit. And they're not looking for a full surround sound package, uh, rear speaker, subwoofer, that whole thing. So I generally would go with a different setup for that. They also really enjoy the Amazon Alexa experience. And of course, this soundbar has Alexa built in, which is a really nice feature. It's also really tough to retrofit any cables here. There's no crawl space, there's no attic to work with. So we're gonna have to do a Wi-Fi connection and Sonos is uh, obviously amazing at that. And so that's really the reason why we chose to go with this soundbar. So, all right, so next thing we have to do is kind of determine where we wanna put that soundbar. We do have a piece of furniture below the TV. We could put the soundbar here if we wanted to, um, but that'll take up some space, right? You won't be able to put any knickknacks up here, no photos, anything like that. So I tend to put them on the wall generally. Like that way it gives us extra counter space. Um, the sound quality is just a little bit better in my opinion if it's up on the wall. And in this case, we're gonna install it directly below the TV. We're gonna tuck it up to the bottom of the TV as close as possible so that we can hide the wires behind the television and you won't see any of them. If we wanted the soundbar to go lower, we would actually have to have an electrician come out and put an electrical outlet behind the soundbar. This is an active soundbar, which means it gets plugged into an electrical outlet. It has an amplifier built into it. And because of that, we are not allowed to run that cord inside the wall. That is against code. That's a big no-no. Okay guys, so we're gonna install this Sonos Beam soundbar directly underneath the television. You can see it's a really slim, small soundbar. Really great for a small unit like this. As I mentioned, this is a condo. So uh, perfect sound for a small room like this. Um, it's gonna tuck directly underneath the television, as I mentioned before. And what we use to do that is this included soundbar bracket. Well, it's actually not included, it's separate. But it's gonna mount directly underneath the TV or on the wall like this. The soundbar goes on top of that, and then we hide the cables behind the TV. Okay, so first thing we need to do is mark where the bracket needs to get screwed to the wall. Sonos is really great about helping out with the installation, and they include this cardboard template. It shows me the exact height of the, of the soundbar. All right, once we have our template where we need it, then we go ahead and double check to make sure it's level. And then we mark our holes so that we hit the studs. Where there isn't a stud, we'll also add a anchor as well for additional support. The sound bar is really light, so that's not gonna be an issue. Now that our sound bar bracket is up, we double check and just make sure that it's level. We want it centered on the TV, of course. We've got a little bit of room to play with that because the TV can slide just a little bit left or right on the bracket. But got it all lined up. Now we test fit our sound bar. We make sure that we measured right. And look at that. So you can see, it, uh, it's butted up right up against the bottom of the TV. We'll be able to run our wires behind the television and you'll never see them. Okay, so the sound bar is installed and ready to go. Really simple install, it connects to the Wi-Fi. You use the uh, Sonos app to modify and, and configure the system. And then it has uh, lots of great features. So number one, uh, you can use the TV remote to turn the volume up and down. You can use the Sonos app, of course, to add your different music services. It has access to every streaming music service you could think of. So if you have Apple Music, Pandora, Spotify, Sonos is the answer for you because uh, you can literally connect to any of those. It'll also have, uh, it, can, it has AirPlay 2 built in, so you can uh, directly stream music from your phone. Uh, guests can also do that if you give them access to the Wi-Fi. Uh, some other great features is voice control. Uh, it has voice assistance built in from Amazon, Google, and Apple Siri. So you can use voice assistant to control or to ask it to play your favorite band or, or playlist. 
And you can see it's a real slim, easy design. We could add Sonos subwoofer to it. We could add rear speakers if we wanted to and make a surround sound system out of it. But uh, generally I like to use the play bar or Sonos just announced better yet, a brand new play bar that has Dolby Atmos built in. So that'll definitely be the new go-to as far as uh, doing surround sound. All right, if you have any other questions about how to install a Sonos product or a sound bar, uh, please feel free to reach out to me. You can make comments below or send me an email or message any way you like. Uh, we're also available to help if you need professional installation done so that you don't see any of the wires or just don't want to deal with the headache. We're available as well. Reach out to us at www.pulse-automation.com or you can also reach us at 608-455-8810. Have a great day, everybody.